I'm standing in front of this fantastic work by Scottish uh, artist William Colet Ocheton titled The Lyric uh, from 1904. Ocheton's best remembered today for his genre scenes, especially works like this, where a luxurious period interior is used as a backdrop for a dramatic narrative. Born in Edinburgh, Ocheton went and trained at the Trustees Academy, where he met talented students of influential painter Robert Scott Lauder, with whom he formed lifelong friendships. In 1862, he moved to London with fellow artist John Petty, where they shared a house and a studio as well. Ocheton's real skill lay in his ability to capture the psychological through clever use of body language um, and facial expression, as we can see here, really highlights the anguish of his characters. And here with this figure, the way she's set on this swirling carpet, really highlights her despair. It makes her feel quite palpable. And the giraffe piano that's towering over her is really highlighting the source of her problem, her inability to make the lyric flow. And music as an expression of emotion is a recurring theme in uh, Ocheton's later work, uh, such as this one. And this very piano appears in other works and was indeed owned by the artist and donated to the v in London in 1907. Ocheson achieved considerable success in his lifetime and many of his patrons uh, were Scottish industrialists, including Dundee's own James Guthrie Oker. Um, Oker, of course, had his own lasting legacy uh, on the McManus, including the architecture of this room I'm standing in, the Victoria Gallery. His collection also survives within the city's collection. He bequeathed it uh, to Broughty Ferry. The collection was then managed and, uh, and grown by the trustees who acquired this painting um, in the spirit of Oka's collecting in 1927, a few decades after Oka's death. Um, and the collection now is in the care uh, of the city and remains on display in this room as well as Broughty Castle Museum.